Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Iron Mike Tyson. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles. And it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Another nice combination to the head. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well, he's connecting on a few hooks so far here in the round, and there it is again. So every time he goes back to the well with that hook, he seems to find the target. He does a great job of finding the placement on that shot. It is a great weapon to have. Nice straight punch. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you'd like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? What? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he's thrown it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Beautiful kick there. Flipped with a left hand counter. That uppercut will work. He's got that single collar tie locked in. Another punch to the head. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, and he just continues to punish his opponent with that hook. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He will not be able to take many more. He better understand that it only takes one in the perfect spot to end your night. Going to the bottom. Oh! Oh, my God, it's hurt. He's hurt. Good body work with that hook by Tyson. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, nice low kick. Well, the forecast is true, goes back to the hook shot, but unable to land. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Straight right, he misses. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Tyson. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. Huge oh, strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. Oh! Yeah, he hurt real bad. He still hurt. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Swing and a miss by Lee. Oh, man, you could hear that one from here as he continues to punish his opponent with that hook. Our no-nonsense referee almost stepped in there. He almost stepped in because when you start flailing around the octagon, 
know that the ref has to. He has to. It is his job to save you. You don't want to be on the receiving end of too many of this guy's hook punches. Your boy George Allen might have stepped in and That's stopped that guy. fight. You are all swagged out. So George <laughs> Allen all swagged out, stopping fights. Big shot lands for both guys. Final seconds of the round. Man, has his chin been tested early. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do all it. right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth. Oh, oh he's wobbling now. He went high on that one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And gets caught with that punch. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, huge left. Oh, nice body shot. Just out of range with that right hook. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end of this They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's in here. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big right hand. All right, so there it is again. Much like he did in the previous round, able to land that hook really at will. Over and over and over and over, he is landing that very same punch, whether it's to the body or to the head. He just does a fantastic job of finding the hook. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Whiffs on that offering. Nice block. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Just misses with the left hand. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, beautiful body kick again. I mean, and he's comfortable doing it because he's not fighting a wrestler. So he's not worried about getting taken down. So he's going to continue to blast that kick into the body of his opponent. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, nice. Landed that left hook. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room and it's a first play tonight. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep going with it as he continues to land a high volume of strikes in this one. Oh, this 
stuff on you because he's a boxer of this caliber. This guy's too good. And as you see his opponent looking lost, this is what you expect. He is that good in this singular skill. He got on four ounce gloves. Take this dude down. Don't box him. He's too good at it. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Try to establish that jab. Tyson's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll pay dividends later. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Tyson gets caught by the inside leg kick. A few more, and that'll leave a mark. Final seconds here of round two. Ten minutes in the books. Great job. You're winning this fight. You're clearly ahead, but we want to finish. You want to do what you've been doing. Your hands are high, you're light on your toes, you're cutting those angles. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? You ready? Go so here ahead. we go, five minutes remain in the fight. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round. And strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fish. Big head kick. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Nice jab by Lee. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Straight punch is good. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC's office. And now a head kick to boot. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. If you're gonna go out, go out on your shield. If you're going to picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, big punch land. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Nice yeah. shot to the body there. All right, there it is, another strike targeting that damaged area on the body. Is this a game plan thing or perhaps trying to set something up high later on? Well, I think it's, I think it's all, it all works together. You get the hands to start to drop, 
And then when those hands drop, you go over the top with that head kick. But beating up the body sets up the attacks up top. And that is exactly what this guy is doing. Tyson gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. 90 seconds to go in our third and final round. There's the leg kick, that one checked by Tyson. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Nice crack there. Less than a minute into our third and final round. Oh, good jab to the body by Tyson. You know what's crazy? It was like... Oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Nice liver shot lands. Final 10 seconds of the fight. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of